Hey family, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. So I'm sitting in my car again on my lunch break. And the Lord brought to my to my remembrance the story of Jonah and the whale. And how Jonah was swallowed up by the whale because of his disobedience to God. And putting it in <clears throat> today's terms, we wonder why. Like I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, like... What 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 is your will? What is your will, Natasha? What is your will? Right? What is your will? The expectation is that we ask God to do something or we tell him that we love him so much that we'll do what he says to do and then we don't do what he says to do. And then our expectation is that he is not God, that he is not just, right? That he doesn't show his hand. Jesus was not on the scene, per se, right? When Jonah was swallowed up by the whale. But family, the question is, what is your whale? Where did God tell you to go and you disobeyed? And now you've been swallowed up by this whale, whether it's a job that you hate, whether it's a relationship that you you don't want to be in anymore, whatever the situation is. What is your whale? If you think back, far enough God told you what to do or what not to do in that situation and you did what you thought was best again we have to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding because our own understanding can be mixed with a lot of different things a lot of different emotions a lot of different feelings and and situ situations and circumstances come into play so we have to trust God in and through it all if he tells us to go to Nineveh we should be going to Nineveh and if we don't go to Nineveh we should be expecting to be in the belly of a well for three days and three nights. Family, I love you, and I pray that this word encouraged you. Have a blessed day.